I want you to imagine space and time as a giant trampoline. What do you think would happen if I took a couple of random objects and placed them in the middle of this trampoline? They will hold still in space, and they'll continuously move forward in time. But what would happen if I took a very large mass, like let's say the Earth, and I placed it right in the middle of this trampoline? Well, if we have a mass that's this large, what it's basically going to do is bend the trampoline. So assuming these objects are relatively close to this large mass that we have, they're going to fall towards this mass because space and time is curved around the Earth. This is a two-dimensional, very simplified way of how Einstein visualized gravity in his general relativity. This concept gets much more complicated, though, when you factor in light because light will actually bend in the presence of a large mass due to space-time curvature. And hence the name space-time, this curvature also impacts time. In these gravitational wells, time actually ticks by slower, because the presence of curved space-time causes light to travel a farther distance while remaining a constant speed. This concept is often hard to visualize, so 